Okay, so let's talk about some of the weaving patterns. So in some of the videos we watched, we learned about the most basic weave, the plain weave, is um, also called the tabby weave. And I have an example here of a tabby weave, and basically you're just going over, under, over, under, one at a time, all the way across, and then coming back the other direction. And if you went over, under, over, under, going across, you would do under, over, under, over. You would do the opposite pattern coming back. And you wanna make sure you go all the way and wrap around the last warp string every time. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. So I've already tied my weft thread onto one of the warp threads. So remember the ones up and down, the vertical ones are warp. The ones that go left and right, horizontal, weft are called weft. You can think weft rhymes with left if you want. Um, but this, these, this direction is weft, those are warp. Okay, so anyway, the tabby weave, you're simply going over, under, over, under. So my string is tied on and I can just go under, over, under, over, all the way across. And then I'm gonna pull it through. And every single time, I wanna make sure that I'm pushing down my weft thread, okay? We glued these cardboard sections on. You may wanna just push it to there. That's a good place to stop. And then coming back the other way, I finished going over the last warp thread. So coming back, I just have to go under. So under, over, under, over, all the way across. Of course, your looms are wider than this one for some of you. And I will come across. And here's one thing that can sometimes help to keep it from doing this kind of thing as you're weaving. If you pull it till there's this, this is actually called a bubble when it does that. So if you can pull it till it does that and then push it down, you will have a more even, the warp lines will stay more vertical and not pull in. Um, if it's still a little loose on this side, once you've done that, then you can pull it, okay? So I would just keep doing that and do the opposite each time. So here I finished by going under this warp thread, so I'm gonna go over, going back. Pull <clears throat> till I get that bubble, push it down. And I can tighten it a little, okay? And I can just keep going. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you with this tabby weave that is kind of a cool thing to do, and I have an example right here. This is with the tabby weave too, but you can see that some of the sections are they're making kind of a wedge shape, so it's like wider with this blue section right here. It's wider here and narrower, right? Really all of the sections are, are kind of like that. So to do that, all you have to do is you're gonna do the tabby weave going across, but then when you come back, you're gonna go one warp string um, less and you'll come back and you'll just gradually do that. One warp less each time you go over. So let's say I wanted to go to the middle. I have to go over, under, over, under, and maybe I'll stop here, a little past the middle. Okay. Coming back, I'll go back over that same one where I ended. But for this next row, when I go across, I'm gonna end one sooner. So I'll go over, under, over, under, and I wanna end on that one. But I just have to be careful because I actually have to go under it to come back. Okay, so I'll pull across. And this is actually the next one over, right? I ended here last time. Zoom in a little more. Okay, so my last row I ended here. So this time I wanna end with this one, but I have to go under it because that's how just how my pattern is right now. And then back. Okay, and then I push it down again. 
Don't push it so hard that you can't see what you've done. You can always push it down a little more later. Um, okay, so then I can continue over, under, over. The last one I ended with last time was this row. So this time I'll end with this one. Go across. Push it down. Okay, and I will go back. So each time you're just wrapping around one less. See how it's starting to make that wedge? This time I want to end with this one. And I haven't really ended it, ended that row until I wrap around it, okay? So I gotta make sure I go around it. And this one I actually just wrap around this one once and then I'm at the end, okay? You see how it made that little wedge? And if I wanted to have another wedge exactly the same on the other side, I would usually start from down here, start from this side and work my way over. And you wanna make sure you wrap it around wherever you ended with your first wedge, you want it to come across and hook on that same warp thread. So on this, if I were doing another wedge coming this way, I would end on this one first. Cause see how underneath that's my last one. You want to end on the same one. If you need more help with that, I can help you. But anyway, there you have the tabby weave, basic tabby weave, and making a wedge.